For over 100 years, Granite High School has been the home of civic pride, education, and community. Hundreds of thousands of people are connected to this property and these buildings and feel a sense of pride and ownership in this property. No other high school in Utah has such a long history and such a deep and rich heritage. In 2009, Granite School District closed the doors of Granite High because of a demographic shift in the population in the area and put the building up for sale. In 2011, South Salt Lake City tried to pass a $25 million bond to save and preserve the property and buildings, but it failed by only five votes. Since then, there have been several different projects that were interested in the property, the latest of which is to tear all the buildings down and build residential housing and a Walmart. But this is so much more than 26 acres of property and four buildings. We're talking about the heritage of five generations of families and hundreds of thousands of people who have been touched by this place. We're talking about 100 years of taxpayers that have contributed to these properties and feel a sense of pride and ownership in it. This is the largest open space in South Salt Lake that hundreds of residents use on a daily basis to walk their dogs, get exercise, play sports, and be healthy individuals. To destroy all of this would be a great tragedy. This is the oldest educational institution and community resource in the Salt Lake Valley. There's a tradition of excellence and wonderment on, the, on that campus, and it's important that that be preserved, enhanced, and strengthened. I am a third generation Grenetian. My grandpa went there, my dad went there, as all his brothers, and me and four of my siblings also went to Granite. So we had four generations attend Granite High, and my great-grandparents actually eloped and got married because they couldn't find parking to a football game at Grand High. I'm concerned that the school district that I've known and loved all my life, that they would even consider turning this valuable resource over to the private sector just for the money. The thing about an area like that is green space, especially once it's gone, it's gone. You don't get it back. We don't have a an artistic or an educational facility of that size or caliber that is available to us at such an extremely affordable price. You know, there are food markets, but there aren't that many uh, maker spaces that have the facilities that we can supply to the community. I think it's a very important uh, asset to the local community there. If a Walmart came in, think of all those businesses that would get run out because technically and historically, Walmart uh, pretty much swallows up any other small business because they try to do everything under one roof. The Granite High project's goal of turning the existing Granite High campus into a regional arts center is one that would have significant impact on not only the residents and community of South Salt Lake, but also on those in Salt Lake County, the state of Utah, and beyond. Derek and the team, I have uh, done what they can, but we need to get a little bit more behind them and try and help them save this. Right now, we are at a place where there is a unique opportunity to create something dynamic and extraordinary. Introducing the Granite High Encore Project. Here's our objective. Save the property and heritage of the site for the community. The only way to do this is to acquire the Granite High property and buildings from Granite School District. Maintain the open space, the largest open space in South Salt Lake for community use and creating community gardens and park space. Refurbish the historic auditorium building to create a regional performing arts center. Renovate the industrial arts building into a maker space. Restore the gymnasiums, workout rooms, and pool for community use. The main buildings will be used for community purposes as well as creative industries workspace. But in order to achieve this seemingly impossible task, we need your help. This is going to take cooperation, collaboration, and contribution from many parties, especially the alumni of Granite High School, philanthropic individuals, and foundations. 
Your donation to the Granite High Encore Project is tax deductible. Make your contribution today and help preserve our history and create the second act for Granite High. Thank you.